have it, I struggle with it. I struggle with it because of the nature of the very word authentic. Um, because if, if you look at the work of Taylor and others, you, 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 you're struck by the internalization of this process, the self actualization, but the self concept that's, that's behind it. Which really suggests to me that authenticity is, is a quality, is a characteristic, or even a process that's actually kind of personalized. It's, it's to you. It's, it's, it's that inner awareness um, that Branson, I think, was trying to talk about in terms of the consciousness of self, self-image, that's process. If, if that be the case, then being authentic, which I think in many cases a lot of authors and a lot of teachers actually can bring to the issue of being, being honest or being consistent or being um, a person that seems to be reliable or those kind of processes, doesn't make sense. Because what we might be seeing, of course, is what the behaviours that the person is actually kind of demonstrating um, as a result of, of inner, inner, character, inner, inner forces, inner, inner processes. But, but in point of fact, that it's, it really is only ever known to the, to the person whether or not this is actually the authentic self. So I, I would kind of prefer, prefer the, the other another definition of the staff of, of leadership to simply say, well, leadership as a moral process um, seems a lot more important to me because we can then un unpack it without, without admitting to the fact that we're not too certain about what, what is involved with the individual. So that's, um, that's my response to the question, which I know I probably wasn't the response you expected because, you, because actually inherent in the question was, was what is inherent in many people's attitudes approaches to educational leadership now because so many people actually use, in fact even at our university, we use terms like um, authentic leadership and authentic learning and those processes. But when you, you've got to pull back, if you said to me authentic learning, I would say, well, that seems to me to be a constructivist type of a, of a, of a theory which says, you know, it's got, to, it's got to have meaning to the person and all of that. When you say, when you say authentic leadership, you're asking, a whole, it's a much deeper question.